No sign on Tuesday of the young woman who was last seen in Lake Washington's waters. It was just kind of odd that she just disappeared and just that instant, you know, so quick, you know. Eunice Antoine heard what was happening near Pritchard Island Beach and witnessed last night's search efforts. It was multiple, you know, response units here, uh, divers and everybody's out here by the water, you know, with their lights. Uh, hook and ladder truck was had their ladder up in the air at the spotlight trying to look for the person. Multiple agencies searched the cold, dark waters, including Seattle Fire, Mercer Island Marine Patrol, and the Coast Guard, which began searching around 10 Monday night. Seattle police say it received multiple 911 calls of a woman falling off a boat into Lake Washington. But witnesses like Eunice say the man driving the boat told police something else. I heard him tell the police officer that when he got to this area that he had slowed the boat down and was either taking pictures, but he also mentioned a video. As he said, you can look on this video and you can see her jump into the water. That 46 year old man was later arrested for allegedly boating under the influence and booked into the King County Jail. He's not that far off from the shore, so I don't know how deep it is out there, but it doesn't seem deep enough to just to lose somebody, you know, that quick. Seattle police are now handling the recovery efforts. And basically, I just hope they, you know, they find her. And so for an idea of just how cold that water was last night, right now the water in Lake Washington is 57 degrees and that can be dangerous. It can lead to cold water shock and loss of muscle control in just a matter of minutes. Seattle police say they have assigned a missing persons detective to this case. For now, live in Seattle, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News. All right, Julie, keep us posted as you learn more. And a quick note here, uh, just today the Coast Guard released some new data from this past year on fatalities on the water, and the trend is actually moving in the right direction. The Coast Guard says fatalities have actually dropped more than 11%, but the agency says alcohol is still a leading cause of boating fatalities.